today I'm reviewing the Ordinaries Marine Hyaluronics. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money, and I will never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help, check out don'tbsbeauty.com, help support the channel, or click on the Amazon link below. So I've had this for a while. I've been using it off and on, and it is a watery-like serum, very liquidy. Uh, if any of you guys have used the CASRX Triple C Liquid Lightning, you kind of know what I mean. That one's like a water serum, almost like with this one. You could almost think it's water because it's clear. So, uh, the Ordinary says, a Marine Hyaluronics brings together lightweight marine-derived water res reservoirs that attract and hold water like hyaluronic acid, but are lighter than hyaluronic in texture and feel. I can attest to that. The formula contains X-polysaccharides and skin-friendly marine bacteria, Hawaiian red algae, glycoproteins from Antarctic marine sources, microfiltered blue-green algae, and several health-supporting amino acids. All marine derivatives in marine hyaluronics are sourced sustainably. The total concentration of active ingredients in this formula is 23%. And this formula is extremely, exceptionally light in texture. And it is, let me give you a little preview of it. It's just like water. So, very, very, very light and hydrating. So, um, the... Uh, Ingredients that you're talking about from Antarctic is kind of becoming a kind of it thing right now lately. They're sourced from the uh, Antarctic area and they are said to be great for skin, uh, giving you a boost of hydration. I will say that this one, the hydration, it comes with days of using it. You definitely will notice your skin is less dry, even though instantly after using it, your skin doesn't necessarily feel extra hydrated. It definitely comes with using it for a few days in a row. So let me get on to my criteria. And my first one is packaging. And obviously we've got the Ordinary Dropper Bottle, which is annoying. Especially if you have a lot of products from the Ordinary. It's like, which one in this whole cabinet is it? I'm going to have to look at all of them. So maybe they could use like different colors. Like, I don't know, some of them are different colored bottles. But maybe they could use like purple for like hydrating ingredients and like orange for acids and like purple for retinols. I don't know. But anyway, it's still decent packaging. I do recommend keeping this in a cabinet when you're not using it so the light does not uh, get through the bottle and kind of degrade the good stuff in there. Uh, my second criteria is alcohol, and this does not contain denatured or drying types of alcohol. It is also fragrance-free and really has no scent. It really seems like water. Uh, the manufacturing location is Canada, like pretty much everything in the ordinary, so uh, no issues with that. Uh, ease of use. Uh, directions say to apply a few drops to skin in morning and evening. That's what I would recommend doing it. I would recommend applying this after you use toners or essences, but before most of your serums and definitely all of your cream, lotion, moisturizers. Very, very, very liquid texture that absorbs pretty much instantly. And a couple drops are definitely enough to cover your entire face, which is just fine. Uh, feels lightly hydrating, tends to play well with other products, and layers easy, easy, easily. Uh, you don't have any issues that you tend to have with hyaluronic acid, which is pilling. Like with a lot of hyaluronic serums, if you use them with a lot of layers, you will tend to get pilling. Uh, you don't get that with this one. So I also like to use a couple drops of it over my arms, like when they get really dry, and then apply a lotion over it. It seems to give it just a boost of hydration. So definitely very easy to use, and I love the fact that it tends to play well with other products and layers nicely because this isn't the end-all, be-all serum. Uh, if you're using only this in your routine, uh, you definitely want to make sure you're adding a lot of other beneficial ingredients, vitamins, minerals. So... Uh, in terms of antioxidants and beneficial ingredients, so we've got that algae extract, which is a uh, good antioxidant and also a good hydrating ingredient. Uh, we've got the uh, pseudoaltermonus exopolysaccharides, which is the uh, Antarctica. Uh, it's the uh, concentrate of exopolysaccharides obtained from the fermentation of marine bacteria, uh, Pseudo alter monas, rich in glu glucuronic acid with a remarkable ability to, to attain water. 
Uh, this also has several amino acids, which are great to help with hydration and skin suppleness and plumpness, such as arginine, valine, glycinine, aline, proline, histidine. And it also contains a little bit of salicylic acid in there, which uh, let me do my pH test while I'm thinking about it. Uh, really don't notice any exfoliation from it, but salicylic acid in a good skin carotene can uh, certainly not have any issues for skin. So let me, oh, there we go. It's really watery, so there we go. Okay, and the pH of this to me looks to be right about probably almost exactly a 4. So uh, salicylic acid does require pH between 3 and 4 to really exfoliate. And the fact that this is much closer to 4 than a 3, uh, you're not going to really notice any exfoliation from this. So it's definitely safe to use other salicylic acid or BHA serums with this. So um, anyway, so they've got a good round of ingredients and beneficial uh, ingredients in there. So um, definitely no issues with that. Uh, my seventh criteria is animal testing, and this product is cruelty-free as well as it is vegan, so that's nice. It opens up some more uh, potential customers. Uh, performance definitely doesn't feel instantly hydrating. Um, it does layer well. Adding a couple drops to a moisturizer seems to be another good way to use it, uh, especially it seems to be a little bit more gratifying. It'll make your moisturizers feel a little bit more hydrating and cover a little bit more area and just kind of thin it out a bit, making it feel more gratifying for the product. Um, no instant other results in terms of like wrinkles or anything like that, fine lines. Although with continued use after I would say probably two or three weeks of use, you might notice the skin is looking a little bit more plump. Definitely requires uh, continual use over time, but if you keep doing that, your skin will end up being more hydrated and a little bit more supple and plump. So performs nicely. Uh, price, so this is the full size, which is one ounce, and it retails for $6.80. So you can't beat that anywhere, so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, and then in terms of the it factor, which is my 10th criteria, it's well-priced, fragrance and alcohol-free. Not the most exciting in terms of beneficial ingredients, but it does contain that it ingredient, which is the Antarctica uh, bacteria thing, which is becoming... Uh, put in a lot of products, uh, but it will definitely lightly hydrate your skin despite the watery texture, but it's nice because you can add it a couple drops to a moisturizer or a couple drops to a body lotion, and it really can multitask in that regard. So overall, it's a pretty good product. I gave it a 9 out of 10, which is pretty darn good on the Sarah score scale. I just couldn't get over the it factor. It just wasn't the most exciting product, but you know what? Not everything needs to be exciting to work well and to deliver good results for your skin. This one will just require a little bit of dedication and continual use. So, and getting over the fact that it feels like water. So, if you have really, really dry skin, definitely mixing this with the moisturizer is going to be the way to go. So, uh, anyway, so I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check it out yet. Uh, and if you have what your thoughts are, or if you use any other products with that uh, ingredient that I can't pronounce very well, the Antarctica bacteria, marine thing, uh, definitely let us know what you're using and how you like it. I know it's kind of the it thing of the time, so it's in a lot of different stuff. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, check out nobsbeauty.com, the Amazon link below, and I will see you tomorrow.